You know, in central Ohio, by 2030, our senior population is expected to increase by 50%. Here in Northland, uh, the Kerwin Institute at The Ohio State University identified Northland as the second fastest growing senior community in the state of Ohio. So we see this confluence of aging across the state, but really concentrated here in the Northland community. And this is what led National Church Residences almost a decade ago now to really focus in on the Northland community as a place where our mission to serve seniors and provide them dignified places to live really collided with a need of the community. We've got an incredible momentum of development happening right here in Central Ohio. I think we have six more campuses that are going to open in the next 18 to 24 months. Some of them are in what we call Franklinton or used to be called the Bottoms, I think was the name that was there. We've got campuses that are popping up over off of Cleveland Avenue. We've got, of course, this whole area of Northland. We have a campus under construction right now in Worthington. Uh, I, I just can't get over the number of things that we're doing. This beautiful, affordable senior housing community furthers our efforts to provide a diverse group of seniors with more options for housing. And in our view, we aspire to help them have dreams come true so they can stay at home in this community where they grew up, where they worked, where they raised a family, and where they have made long-term relationships that they continue to nurture. Columbus is really on the move and it is moving very quickly, but we don't want to move too fast, too fast that we leave people behind. And that's why projects like this are so important because we need to make sure that everybody takes example, everybody benefits from the growth and the activity and the dynamic movement of the city in the central Ohio. Northland Gate was designed to address this urgent need for affordable housing. Developments just like this one help to promote better mental and physical health, a higher quality of life, and more independence for our low-income residents. Affordable housing is a layered issue that will require a multifaceted approach. And as we continue to examine how equity and racial injustice occurs in our Columbus neighborhoods, we must continue to include housing as a part of that conversation. We can't talk about housing without acknowledging who is being most impacted by the lack of affordable housing. It's our aging population. It's our black and brown residents. They need all of us to continue stepping up and being creative and collaborative to create more affordable housing projects. We're running out of places to live that are affordable. And one thing for sure, we have to make sure seniors can stay, as you just said, the new program of staying in your own house, but being able to stay in their own communities. A lot of things come into fruition here uh, to provide walkability and accessibility for our seniors. And we really thank you for the commitment that you're making in the Northland community. I mean, it is absolutely needed in our city, but especially up here in Northland. Thank you to National Church Residences for allowing us to be a part of the Northland Gate Senior Housing um, Project. And thank you to our partner, CREA, uh, for inviting us in, um, uh, bringing us into um, the, the, uh, the relationship with National Church Residences. And we hope that this is just one of many um, projects that we have a, a chance to support over the years. We have a lot of things going for us in Northland. And as others have said, they have friends, they have family, they have uh, memories in this area, and they want to stay in the area. But they do need better options. Some of them are at the point of perhaps giving up on a single family home and all the responsibilities that go with it, downsizing. And uh, affordable housing solutions such as this are part of the solution to that dilemma of wanting to stay in your neighborhood and yet age uh, successfully and safely. You've heard the word partnership used a lot and, and the way all of this financing actually does come together, there's a formal legal partnership. We're, we're the limited partner, but National Church is the general partner. And I can honestly say, we work up with a lot of developers, um, but they are one of the best, if not the best, program that we work with. So um, I'd like to congratulate all the residents, the residents that are moving in.
for uh, be being in very good hands, for uh, a solid partner that is mission driven and uh, looks out for uh, the residents and the entire community here in Ohio. 70 or 80% of your overall care, so how you feel physically and your mental well being, has nothing to do with what happens in a hospital or a doctor's office. <laughs> It has everything to do with where you live, your access to food, your access to education, your zip code, all of those things. And what is so exciting about a project like Northland Gate is it creates that housing platform and it creates an opportunity for organizations like Aetna and many other organizations to start to really address those other, you know, some folks call them social determinants of health, those other things that are so critical so, so to driving better health. I am so impressed with the people that work in the in our world. Um, it, it always fills me up when I uh, when I hear your remarks because I know they're heartfelt. I can't. I can. I don't know what it is about you and your events, Mark. I, I, every time I come to a national church residences event, I start getting emotional, and you know, and it's because there's so much uh, love that goes on in these events and it's it's heartfelt it's not uh not people just uh speaking words it's it's we all know how important this is and it's just great to be a part of it